Crown Forest Teresa Stasio has the details. You know, it's an insulting offer to these 400 survivors who have had a lifetime of harm and pain. That is Dan McNiven. He is with SNAP, the survivors network of those abused by priests. He spoke with me about the latest development between the Oakland Diocese and hundreds of survivors alleging years of sexual abuse by priests. We are aware that the Oakland Diocese has three to four billion dollars in real estate. A third of it is in vacant land. And so it doesn't affect their emissions. Um, and it could be sold. On Friday, the Diocese of Oakland announced the creation of a $160 million fund that is in part funded through real estate sales of land as well as from the Roman Catholic Welfare Corporation and schools. Last year, the diocese filed for bankruptcy. At the time, survivors' attorneys called it a ruse to hide assets. And they're saying to a bunch of survivors who don't have those skills, I'm going to give you this piece of land. Trust me, it's worth $40 million. Don't worry, it's going to be okay. And go sell it. And you know, and you can't. It's going to take four or five years to get that piece of property sold if it's in fact going to be rezoned to housing and then sold to a developer. Last month, the Archdiocese of Los Angeles agreed to pay $880 million to hundreds of survivors of clergy sexual assault. An attorney for Oakland survivors says that those proceedings were honest and transparent with an end goal of helping heal from the harm of being abused. Even $160 million, um, which may sound like a lot of money to some people, divided among 400 is not a lot. When you compare it to Los Angeles, where the where the, the, the offer that was made was all cash right now. The Diocese of Oakland posted this statement on their website, quote, while this is an extremely difficult challenge, we want to honor our obligation to survivors. Bishop Barber said, we recognize that no amount of money can fully and satisfactorily compensate survivors for the abuse they suffered. Bearing that in mind, we believe the plan compensates survivors in a fair and equitable way and allows the Diocese of Oakland to set a path forward to continue to spread the gospel, serving the faithful and the poor, end quote. Next month, there is another hearing before the bankruptcy judge overseeing the Oakland case. Teresa Stasio, Cron4 News.